Now today we'll be testing a brake level switch. Now right here of course is the master cylinder and there's a little switch built into this cylinder. If you get low on brake fluid, a light will illuminate on your gauge cluster, letting you know that you have to add brake fluid. But this is how you test that switch if you need to for whatever the reason. So right here we have the master cylinder and if you take a look on the left hand side, we have a harness connector. Now on the bottom, let me see if I can get this on. right here where my finger is. If you, there's a tab, you squeeze down on the tab and the harness connector comes out. So right here is where that tab is, it was pointing downwards. And on the side, a little hard to see, there is, let me try to get a different angle, but there are two prongs that meet up with this harness connector. So what you need to do is test for continuity. Very, very easy test to do that. You need a multimeter. Let me show you what that looks like. Now on any multimeter or digital multimeter, you'll see a symbol. It looks like a Wi-Fi hotspot. And that's what you want. If you don't have a multimeter, usually $15 to $20. You can pick up a decent one. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, local auto parts store, Amazon, etc. And what you need to do is find that symbol. So that's volts. And there you go. So you, so you have this uh, Wi-Fi symbol. And what this does, continuity, is two points make a connection. So here we go. So you hear that alert? So when you hear that noise, that lets you know that you have continuity, which means two points are making a connection. Now, when you have fluid in the master cylinder, there should be no continuity. We'll test that real quick. And then what I'll do is I'll remove the fluid in the master cylinder, and then we should have continuity. Okay, so no continuity if you have fluid. So in other words, no audio noise. If there's no fluid, then we should hear an audible alert, and that means you have continuity. Okay? Now to quickly test this and to make it very easy on camera, I have these alligator clips. Okay? Now you don't have to use these. Where the hell is my other one? Hold on. Alright, so you don't have to use these, but what this will do is I'm going to use these alligator clips to clip on to the connection in here. Now again, it's so hard to get a good shot of these prongs, but you can feel them. And I'll find a diagram just so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. But you're just taking these alligator clips, or at least I am, and just getting a good latch onto these connectors. See how it's latched, latched on there? And then with the other end, I'm just going to take the leads running from the multimeter. And I'll give you another shot because I know I want to get this all in one camera shot if I can. So with the multimeter, if you've never used one of these, they come with two leads, okay? So we have the correct setting, we're on continuity. And very simply, all that I'm doing is I'm taking the leads from the alligator clips and just attach, attaching them right to the probes of the multimeter. And we should have no continuity, in other words, no audible alert, okay? And that's because we have fluid. Now, as I take fluid out of this master cylinder, and the fluid goes below the switch, this should trigger. We should hear an audible alert that lets us know that we have continuity. If that happens, the switch is working correctly, okay? Okay, so here we go. There's a little screen in here. Now, brake fluid is incredibly corrosive. If you get it on the paint, immediately remove it because it will eat away that paint. Okay, here we go. And there we go. So that verifies that the switch is working correctly because there's no more fluid left in the cylinder here, the master cylinder, the reservoir. It trip that switch and that's how you can quickly test these switches. Now if you're worried about bleeding the brakes, as long as you don't depress the brake pedal, you don't want air to enter the system. If air enters the system, then you have to bleed your brakes, okay? So in this case, once I add the fluid back in the master cylinder, 
will be in good shape and uh, that wraps up the test so we'll go ahead reinstall the brake fluid here Make sure you put the screen back in. Make everything nice and tight, okay. So now we'll just quickly start the vehicle and make sure everything is in good shape. And if we press down on the brake pedal, we can get a light here. See, it's still nice and firm. Now if you depress the brake pedal and it goes all the way to the floor, then you have air in the system. I'll include a link in the description box below showing on how you can bleed the brakes. But as long as you don't depress the brake pedal when the master cylinder is low of fluid, you'll be in good shape. 